Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Getting us on Instagram TV, wherever you're getting this content, we definitely appreciate you. So, last night I was out to dinner, and I was asked by a financial planner uh, while we were waiting for our table, kind of got to talking about what we did, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, in the age of social media, do you think it's still important to have a website? Now, if you followed any of the content that I've produced and followed any of the content over the years that I've posted, you're gonna know the answer ahead of time, but let's revisit this again. Right now, as I'm recording this video, Instagram is down. Right now, as I'm recording this video, Facebook is down. I don't know what's going on, I just know that I can't go ahead and upload it, I can't use it the way that I typically do. So, if you're relying on social media to be your only center for your brand presence and your brand awareness, what happens is you're at the mercy of another entity, right? So. Why would you want to build your brand, again, on rented land? So since you're at the mercy of them, of course, you always should have a website, even if it's a simple microsite that says who you are, what you do, what problem you solve. Even if you have something like that that's not super in detail and you post a lot of your content to social media, that's better than relying on social media 100%. Because when you're building your foundation and you're building everything on rented land, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows with, you know, ongoing privacy concerns of Facebook with GDPR and ongoing, you know, uh, anything with Instagram, algorithm changes, you know, how often your stuff is viewed. Who, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows how that's going to change in the future? The one thing that I do know is that if you have a website and you own your domain and you own the land of which you're marketing to and you bring everybody back to that, you're going to have more control over everything. You know, you're going to have more control over your positioning. You're going to have more control over your search visibility. You're going to have more control over lead gen. When people are coming to you specifically, there's a better chance of them, uh, for you to capture them than to, for, you, for them to just to scroll through and go see somebody else doing something similar. So the answer is yes, you always want to have a website for your product, service, or brand, even if it's a small microsite like Trinity has been beginning to offer. Because then you're going to control everything and you're going to control your messaging and you're going to be able to be more successful in the long run without depending on someone else. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking this out. You can get more episodes of The New Marketing Show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And you can always catch us at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes.